A closer look for you at the French government when it said that its service was restored finally to government websites after a cyber attack of, quote, unprecedented intensity took them down Sunday and Monday. We're going to talk more about that now with Fabrice Epelboin. Fabrice, you are a teacher at Sciences Po University in Paris. You're also an entrepreneur. What more can you tell us about this attack? Nothing much. It's a very low intensity attack. It has been uh, claimed by a group in South Sudan, uh, anonymous in South Sudan, which basically means that it's just a bunch of kids who had fun during the weekend and who spoiled the weekend of many IT resources in the French administration. But everything's fine now. Uh, it has been reestablished within a few hours. And honestly, if it wasn't during the weekend, it probably would have been reestablished within a few minutes. There's nothing to be afraid of, but there's a lot of fuzz in the French media uh, who are pointing their finger at uh, Russia and talking about the threat of uh, cyber uh, when it comes to Russia, which is real, but it has nothing to do with Russia. That's interesting. So why are so many people saying that this group is a pro-Russia group? Where did that come from? Because they're uh, against France and being against French in Africa, will lead you to be pro-Putin most of the time. And uh, don't forget that this is just a bunch of kids playing guerrilla. Uh, it's the exact same thing we witnessed during the Arab Spring, where we had anonymous who were fighting uh, for Tunisia and for Egypt and for the Arab Spring. Uh, that's nothing more than that. A bunch of kids trying to do some politics in the cyber world and being extremely efficient at it because basically the impact is spectacular in the media. Indeed, and not just in the media because these sites were shut down. I mean, it seems like it was just a mass effect against all of these different sites at the same time. I know you're saying it's just a bunch of kids, it's not important, they got it back on, but could this be some sort of test run perhaps ahead of the Olympics for hackers to try and see just how far they can go? Well, yes and no. Uh, anybody could do that during the Olympics. There are millions of people who have the technical ability to do such a low intensity attack during the Olympics. And considering the press is going to see this as a Russian threat, it could be a real opportunity for the Russians to do a really bad attack and being disguised. Uh, most of all, uh, it'll be very difficult for the French media when a real attack will happen to uh, make a difference with something that is as insignificant as this attack. Well, Fabrice, I know, noticed you said when a real attack happened, not if a real attack happened. How worried should we be? It will happen. It probably already happened. Uh, when uh, a really high-end attack happens, nobody sees it. Uh, you can, for example, if you think about the, the Pegasus affair, uh, basically between 2016 and 2022, Lots of politicians all over Europe got their personal information stolen by third party and nobody saw anything. All That's right. a real high-end cyber attack. 